<gasps> this is gonna be the greatest tutorial on YouTube ever. So today we're talking about how to edit wedding films or any video really to the beat of music. Let's jump into Premiere. So this is footage from a wedding film that I shot recently for Hannah and Ben. If you wanna know how to sort all of your footage and organize it really quickly, um, I have a tutorial for that as well, and you can check that out. First things first, let's get Premiere set up the way that will help us the most. First of all, go to Premiere Pro, go to Preferences. Wait, am I recording? Okay, I'm recording. Oh. Okay, go to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Audio, and in this little audio tab here, you wanna make sure that play audio while scrubbing is selected. Um, next, you wanna go to your window, and if your audio meters aren't selected, make sure to do that. Mine, I keep right over here on the right, really skinny. If you wanna make them little chunk daddies, you can. I also like to keep my audio a little bit bigger while I'm editing. So you can just double click your audio track over here and it will extend it so you can see the waveforms better when you zoom in. You can also just like click and drag this, make it bigger or smaller, and then double click to go back to original size. Then the last thing is your snap feature here. You can use S to toggle the snap feature on and off. Let's start with this song that I picked from Epidemic Sound, drop it in here. So let's hear this song, see what it sounds like. Cool, so it has a nice little swell in the beginning. I kind of wanted to come in on that first like guitar chord, that like So we're gonna use our right arrow key to scrub. And you can hear the music, that's why we had that scrub setting turned on. And when you hear the note that you want the footage to come in on, you stop. So right there on that like little bit of a hit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in there. So I'm just gonna cut here, and watch back. So just use your right and left up arrow keys to find where you want your footage to cut. I like that spot right there. This track is really chill and ambient, so it's a, it's a little bit harder to find the specific um, cuts in the music, the specific beats. Let's check out this track quick. Cool, that's a really nice track. So on each of these like four little snare hits, let's just do a, like a clip for each one of those hits. So you can also keep your eye on the, the audio meters over here on the right, and you'll see the, the levels jump quite a bit when the snare comes in. So they're pretty low there, and then it jumps up for the snare. So that's how you know you're exactly on the snare. So we found the snare, we're gonna drag our footage over to the moment we want. Uh, play it back a little bit. And then find the next one with the arrow keys. Cut, and then I'm just gonna pull all this footage over, do that again. Cut on the snare, pull it over. If I was actually doing this for real, I would make sure I have the perfect moment that I want for these clips, but we're just doing it quick to, to show you how to do this. So let's check that out quick. So that's already way more dynamic. And then there's a couple little like bass kick hits right here. That like dum dum. You could even get really creative and do like a, a zoom on each of these or something. Select the clip, let's go like, 110, and then go to the next kick. So I did a zoom for each of these bass hits. Let's check this out. So that's kind of cool. I'm super OCD about having my clips timed out to the music, but I don't think everything has to be perfectly on beat. Use it how you want to and get creative with it. It's really fun. I'm gonna show you guys a quick example of a video I did and the intro is all synced up to the music. So, so I love that intro, um, it turned out really artistic. I also did little um, grading effects timed out with the music. So there's like those little like sounds in the track. And on those sounds, I added a lot of grain to the clip. You can see it really briefly. Like on those hits, I added like a bunch of Super 8 style grain. So you don't just have to cut on the track. You can get really creative and you can, you can do quick zooms or like glitch effects and um, just different color. I think that wedding films, you, you can still be really creative. Communicate with your client. Make sure that's all established and the expectations are figured out before 
the edit. Uh, hopefully you liked this video. If you didn't, be sure to leave a like. But I hope the editing goes well for you guys and gals and hope you have a wonderful day. All right, hopefully this one worked. I'm gonna go check the audio and make sure that it freaking worked on this thing. It worked, but guess what? The video sucks.